Hi Capricorn, it's Jo from Angels and Ancestors and Darlings. This is your What the Fuck reading, 25th of April through to the 1st of May. Nice. So my loves, let's get your energy cards. There are no announcements to make. Um, the Law of Attraction readings are going up this week fire signs and air no fire signs and water signs were first um yours and air signs will be going up before next saturday so yeah so they'll go up before the end of the month anyway so that'd be good won't it energy cards Put me beans on. Oh, nice. Stars in the sky. Um, I love this card. Oh, I love a lot of the cards. There's no getting away from it. I love the artistry. Look at that sky. And there's somebody cross-legged on that bridge or whatever arch or whatever it is that's showing the valley below it. Um, and there is definitely a connection between this person and the universe. The number... 51 when you add it together it's a number six this is a part of you that is so precious that you will only kind of share with the universe stars in the sky limitless possibilities um you're only limited by the self-limitation or self-restriction you put on yourself literally in comes well song with resonating now if you look at that well he's in a bubble he doesn't know he's in a bubble um but he's sending out his song and it's coming back to him and it's resonating it's it's vibrating with him because it's his own song um i got yesterday when this came out for another uh reading who did i do yesterday oh last week's reading it wasn't yesterday you're the first one last week's reading so who would that have been may have been one of the water signs um i don't like bursting anybody's bubble but in this case to get the resonation to send out that song and get the vibrational energy back from your soul tribe you need to come out of that bubble you need to open up all your possibilities because you've got a number seven here a 61 equals a seven that's your blessings options and choices so if you choose to burst that bubble if you choose to be open to the limitless possibilities that when you send a resonation out into um the planet the universe the oceans because we don't know what's down there most of the time um your soul tribe will hear you and they will respond and it may be really odd how they respond it's really funny because i come across soul tribe my soul tribe all the time um and it's not in the most obvious of places it's never when i'm doing spiritual stuff it's always when i'm doing some shopping somewhere i will just get and talk to somebody and i will recognize their soul right at that moment in time and usually it takes that moment for them do i know you and it's kind of like well oh, possibly but i don't push it just in case they're not as aware as i am of how i'm feeling and it it is that opening of the door to get people to start being aware to understand there is a soul tribe out there for them and it's the same for you so you've got a 51 and a 61 so that's a six and a seven and then you've got number 31 do you know what you really need to look out for synchronicities i said that to one of the water signs as well last week synchronicities capricorn 51 61 31 this is a number four in the hand universe is your partner so yeah just send up what it is that precious part of you and work with the universe a hundred percent um 
definitely your partner it's the universe is everybody's partner you've just got to be open to the possibility that the universe is your partner um but you've got this you you hold this in your hand you really do um it's a number four it's either going to be rest or play it's going to be rest or celebrations it's up to you taking some time out or just letting your hair down and going out it is as simple as that what a lovely start to the reading, Capricorn. That's amazing. So let's see what the fuck is going on around you. WTF. Um, what started your what the fuck for this week? Another card for Capricorn, please, for the 25th to the 1st of May. Can you believe that we're nearly in May? Hey-ho. And then facing your fears and taking your power back for Capricorn, please. Thank you. Nice. Manifestation, wish fulfillment, why it may be fucked. Movement and journey for Capricorn, please. Thank you. What can Capricorn do about this situation? hands for this week what is the universe helping them with okay reconnecting to your true self capricorn That, my lovelies, is your outcome. So, lovelies, what started your what the fuck? Um, there's some inner strength that you're finding. Uh, maybe that you've not really noticed it before, but there is a massive... What the hell was that? Oh, something fell. I have no idea what it was. Sorry about that. Something was getting our attention, wasn't it? You've got the crone. All of a sudden, your inner strength is being shown to you. The person... Right, so let me tell you the story of the crone. The crone has walked this pathway for many years, gathering knowledge and wisdom. Could be over lifetimes, even. But as she comes to the close of this particular cycle, as she comes to the end of this particular life... And she's going to step into a new life, another cycle. And um, whatever that means for you, there may be a cycle coming to an end in your lifetime. Um, but the lion is walking beside you. Now, I often see this lion 
as your guides, your ancestors, your angels, whoever it is that you believe walks beside you. Somebody who whispers in your ear and gives you that intuitive message. They offer you the strength to keep going across lifetimes. Now, I'm kind of getting that you've not really understood or noticed the strength that you carry with you in the knowledge and wisdom that you have got. Um, and it's kind of... It's becoming more apparent to you now with every single step that you take. And that's why they're saying to you, you're becoming so aware that there is limited possibilities. You need to burst that bubble to call your tribe in and that the universe, they've got you. They've got you with this. You, and I'm getting that you know, and the lion that's walking beside you could be the universe. It could be the universe. On the other hand, it could be a Leo. Um, if it's they're walking beside you in this lifetime, um, giving you strength, giving you the feeling that you can do all of this stuff. Um, just know that it is your pathway to walk and you are becoming more and more aware of that strength, that inner strength that you've gathered because of the knowledge and wisdom that you hold. You don't have to be a theorist you don't have to be um somebody who kind of like makes stories up to make them sound good you know you've got that strength you can just tell it as it is literally so lovelies you've got the lady and the lord in your reading now this is facing your fears and taking your power back i have to say when i laid this down i got the distinct feeling that you are not making this decision together that this is a decision that you are going to be making around a partnership that could be a love partnership it could be a business partnership if it's a love partnership it can be um a, a life partner but it can also love comes in many forms it could be a decision around a parent around a child um anybody that you have got a love connection with this is an equal partnership or has been an equal partnership but this, I'm not getting that you're making this decision together. And I think that is partly facing your fears that this decision's got to be made. And there may be, when you're together, a lot of procrastination around this decision. Um, so you're going to have to step up to the plate and make this decision. And then you're going to take your power back because you will feel quite really empowered by that decision finally being made now i can't tell you what kind of decision it is the only thing that i can do to it is go on to your manifestations and your wish fulfillments and why they may be fucked and i have to say you are manifesting a truth or an untruth you want something to be shown don't you need to do it for yourself you need to shine the light on what it is that you need to know in order for your manifestation, your wish fulfillment to not be fucked. You need to be doing this for yourself into the wild hunt. And then that will open up options, endless and limitless possibilities around you of whether you rebuild or whether you just move on, take some of those, some of that, those fallen bricks with you and start to rebuild elsewhere. Um, clear out debris. Clear out debris, clear out data. But it's definitely, you need to action shining a light on um, what it is that you need to know in order to make this decision, literally. You've got the strength to do it. That is a nice three cards there that you've got just at the beginning of your reading. So moving on to your movement, your journey, where the fuck you need to be. Um, darlings, there's the Three of Pentacles. This is my collaboration card. This is the coming together with other people and understanding that the pupil becomes the tutor, the tutor becomes the pupil. This is information coming from surprising sources. So it may be somebody much younger than you is making so much sense and you don't know where it's coming from. Or it could be somebody that's so much older than you that all of a sudden what they're saying to you is making a whole lot of sense. 
Now, because it's my collaboration card, it could be that there is a decision around a partnership, again, a love partnership, again, a business partnership that you really need to learn from. This is the learning card. It is the three of pentacles. It is the giving, the taking, the learning, the teaching. And what, what it basically means is whatever you learn, you will be teaching that and passing that on to other people because it's important. So, lovelies, what can you do about this situation? You've got nature. Um, in other decks, this would be a Capricorn card. It would. There's no two ways about it. Um, but in this deck, you have got um, nature. You've got resistance. You've got self-restriction, self-limitation. That bear's looking at you going, what the fuck are you doing? What? Release the trap. It binds you too hard to what it is that you're trying to hold on to. Um, just release it and go with the bear and dance with the wood nymphs. Because I'm telling you right now, the bear is looking at you going, I ain't putting my paw in that trap. Are you fucking kidding me? It hurts. Uh-uh. No, no, no. So what you need to do is release the traps that bind you. Um, stop self-limiting because that's what you're doing. Or allowing other people to limit your possibilities don't allow that to happen that it's infinite for you you wouldn't have had all of those cards but you really do need to release that trap so you are you're becoming aware but you need to be more aware and the only way to do that is clear the debris and the data that other people have downloaded on us and very often that is limitations it's limitations of what we expect from life it's limitations of what we expect from ourselves just have done with it you know nature has a fantastic way of renewing itself it has a fantastic way of um being the same but being brand new if you understand what i mean so a flower may come up year after year after year and you're oh that iris is beautiful it comes up year after year after year but it's not the same iris it's a renewed iris it's another iris that's been thrown from the bulb to show you some beauty. And that's what I'm saying about you. Go into your bulb if you need to, into your bubble. Burst it and come out as a new you. A more aware you. So what's out of your hands, darlings? Um, the King of Wands, dick, not dictates. Right, let's start again. The King of Wands is Aries, Leo or Sagittarius. So there could be somebody around you with those signs that are not in your personal space at the moment. However, it also describes projects, plans and people. So if you are thinking about starting a new project or a plan or you are trying to draw a new person into your life, know that the timing isn't quite right. There is more work for you to do, not on yourself, but around the type of person that you're calling in or the type of project that you're calling in. It's not quite ready for you um, to do anything about for this week. So it is passionate. It is desirable. So if it is a project or plan and you're thinking of launching it this week, just take a breath and hold off a little bit. Just, just take a deep breath in. It's okay to be still for a moment. Gather your thoughts and then maybe look at launching it i don't know on the first of may whatever but what they're saying is is just hold on to that for a minute especially if it's a new person that you are thinking of um calling in towards you or an old person that you're calling back towards you understand that with the old person an ex is an ex for a reason even friends ex-friends ex-lovers whatever it works out to be but also know that if it's somebody new, you may be calling in the same kind of shit and bollocks that you've been putting up for a long time. They can be very fiery, very arrogant at times. Um, that And good reason too, they put out there what they want and they get it back what they want. But when they stand in the king energy, they do believe it's their birthright to have what they want when they want. Um, so just be aware that that person, if it is a person, is being held back from you. If it, because you need to think, think, think it through more. If it's a project or a plan, 
have another look at it before you launch it. There may be a missing element. Make sure that that passion and that desire to launch it tallies up with the rest of the project or the plan. And in comes your good self. Reconnecting to your true self. Be truthful to yourself. Earth yourself. Understand that the goddess is not far from you. Understand that you've made, as the king of pentacles, these wonderful into your kingdom, into your subjects. And now you're holding that pentacle going, okay, now I can do it for other people. Now I am able, I've got my big pentacle, I've got my savings, I've got my investments. I'm looking at my kingdom thinking, yep, my kingdom's looking good. And now I want to invest in those people that maybe haven't had it as good as me. Now, the king of pentacles, male or female, is going to be a CEO, a director. Where you've got the king of wands here, male or female, passionate, desirable around projects and plans. They start projects and plans. They start the idea of they've got the desire to get it done. And in comes you, the king of pentacles, to offer that solid investment towards the future. And that's what you're doing. You are investing in yourself. You are reconnecting to your true essence um, by being that king of pentacles. And you, you are ready and willing and able to invest elsewhere. Now, investment doesn't necessarily mean money. Investment can be your emotions, your mental power. It can be sensual. It can be spiritual. But just know that you are ready to kind of like put that pentacle out there and go, I'm ready to do these investments. So, my lovelies. Your outcome, the two of a theme is there is a conflict going on. Now, this could be a conflict with an air sign. Um, you could have the same idea, but just can't fucking get your act together about how you're going to do something. Or it can be an inner conflict for the same reason. If it's an inner conflict, let's start again. If it's a conflict with somebody else, know that you just need to sow the seed and walk away. Do not get into he said, she said. Do not get into arguments about the pathway forward. If it's an inner conflict, do the same for yourself. Do not start um, going into your head and trying to make sense of it. Just make the decision on a pathway towards your seven of pentacles. Yes, it's hard work. Yes, you're going to put the hours in. But here's your pentacles. You are polishing one as we speak. They are all your choices, your blessings, your options. Know that you can have them all. You can take one and just invest in one. This is a, being the craftsman around your career, your finance um, and your home life. And very often it's all three that need a little bit of tender loving care. And it could be uh, work-life balance needs to tally up for you. Um, to be able to do something different. And it could be that you're going to turn your hand to a craft that you have got. Um, that you do really well to go out on your own. You may be breaking free of uh, being attached maybe to a business. And starting your own thing. Two of Wands. You are about to leave your comfort zone in order to quest something. Now, a quest doesn't have to be something spiritual. It can be something physical, mental, emotional. But just know that this is something of passion and desire that you have wanted for a while. And now you're questing out to reach out to find out if it's a possibility. I am getting at the end of that very possibly with the two kings sitting there that this could be a business venture this could be you looking at can i start my own business if that's what you are thinking of doing um don't restrict yourself about where the funds are coming from just start doing your business plan start putting stuff together about what it is that you want to do how it's going to look build a website get yourself onto social media instagram tiktok all of those sort of things 
and get your business known out onto the social media sites. So at the bottom of the deck, what's being hidden from yourself is the Knight of Athames. There are messages coming in and going out thick, fast and furious. There may be messages about this. There may be some ripples that people are going, well, I'd employ you if you was doing that. I would take contracts out with you if you was doing that. Start doing some market research. As they're saying that, ask them, say, well, how much do you pay for that at the moment? And do your market research as the people are saying this. But there are messages that are galloping in and galloping out. And the reason for that is they go out as quick as they come in. So don't have the afterthought that you needed to ask that person and you're going to give them a ring. You never will. As they are talking to you, get it in your head. If somebody says to you, oh, that's a really good idea, start talking to them about your business plan. Say, well, you know, how much do you think it should be pitched at? Where should I pitch it? Should it be here? Should it be there? People, other people have fabulous ideas that you don't have to use, but you can harness. So, my lovelies, let's get a whisper of healing. And you have number 44. Don't forget in numerology, 11, 22, 33, 44. The higher you get, the closer to the divine. This is a spiritual connection. You've got the universe is your partner in your hand. And here you are talking to spirit, talking to your guardian. You are really opening up to the possibilities um, that your guardian, your guardian angel, your spirit guide, whoever it is that you believe does this with you, is with you all the way. And that connection is so strong, it shifted you into a number 44, which is highly spiritual. It is highly, it is a high vibrational energy card. I love that card. If you, I'm going to go back to this card because I've just got a bit of a download about it. If you look at this card, that guardian is in the sky. They're just looking down at you. You're looking up at them. But you're on that ship. You're on that well-lit boat. That is your journey boat in this lifetime. And you're making that connection. That is lovely. So can I please have a herb? Plant, flower. We've got a flower. We've got victory. Do you know what? This card is coming out an awful lot and it's an Aries card. So I've got an essence there may be a Leo around you, but with the fire sign there, that's Aries, Leo or Sagittarius. You've also got the victory card, Nastrium. Um, and that's an Aries card and it's another 40 it's another 44. These synchronicities are spooking me out a little bit. I'm just going to have a quick look on the table. You've got a couple of twos. You've got two kings. One, two. You've got three. Four major corners start off this reading. Four. 44. 44. And then you've got the synchronicities of those numbers as well. Let's just... Wait, what did I do with that book? Oh, there it is. I should know this off by art now. It's come out so blooming often. Oracle meaning. Nasturians indicate firm message of triumph and success over challenges as well as support being found they inject the energies of strength and vigor into all they come into contact with and illuminate ways to find a resolution and gain self-confidence and self-reliance what was i saying about finding 
out the truth, shining that light to illuminate something. Advancement is possible now, Get so get moving. Do not become obsessed with the need to impress others or lose your belief in your unique abilities. Wow. So your magical properties, correspondences, uses, success, support, vitality, independence, optimism, deities is Bridget and Inte, celestial is Mars and astrological sign is Aries. <sighs> what can I say? It's a beautiful reading, Capricorn. It really is. I think that's what I'm going to have to call this synchronicities. Sauce the angels and the ancestors for some knowledge, wisdom and guidance. And you've got air, guardian, shift your perception. Take another look. What was I saying about launching this business, this project, this plan? Shift your perception. Take another look. The sun, enjoy success and happiness. Direction, guardian, choose your path. That's what I was saying about this. Number two, at the end, you may have this inner conflict. You may have a conflict with somebody else. But you need to choose your pathway and you need to make that decision. Earth Guardian, there's a surprise. You've got the Earth Guardian. Stay rooted and grounded like you don't already know that. And then you have the Magic Guardian. Unlock your magic within. And that, I'm going to go back to the whale song, back to the resonating. You need to burst that bubble to call the people in that are going to help you with this. Capricorn, what a wonderful reading, darlings. Wherever you are in the world, please be safe and I will catch you in the next reading. Bye for now.